Alright, what's up guys? Uh, Jason back for another statue review. Today we have the PCS Collectibles Chun Li uh, Seasons Pass Edition, which basically just means the bathing suit edition. Uh, this is a one one fourth scale piece. We'll talk about that later. Um, but uh, it's relatively new, the newest in the uh, in the line in any case. So uh, without further ado, let's have a look. And here she is. So my first impressions of this piece when I got her and unboxed her um, were good, but you know she was the she was the one in this line that I was most looking forward to, um, and she is not my favorite in the line. Uh, after all is said and done. Uh, I'll talk about that in a second. Let's just look at the box she came in. Very small little box. Most of these, uh, actually all of these in this line have been pretty small. Nothing too special. It is what it is. You know what? I think there might have been a, an art print in here as well. Let's, let's take a look. Is there an art print? Maybe not. Interesting. I thought there was. No. Nope. Just a... Hmm. Okay. So no art print. Anyways, let's get back to her. So, let's start at the head and go down. And her portrait is really nicely painted. Really nice. I had a quick sort of deep dive look before I uh, turned on the camera just to see if I anything really stood out. I didn't want to miss anything while I was reviewing her. And I was pretty impressed just with the level of detail and paint in that, uh, in that portrait. I've had some sort of mixed mixed feelings when it comes to some of the PCS uh, uh, statues I've got in. But this is nice. This is really well done. The flower is really nice. Her hair is is uh, well, well sculpted and painted. Uh, her portrait is just really nice. I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can get up over the hand here and look. But her teeth, now you're not really going to be able to get a good look, but her teeth are individually sculpted and it looks like they're even individually painted which is pretty impressive for something so small um, hands look nice as is the case with all these street fighter statues i mean they're based on on uh, game character models not real people so you can't expect it to be overly detailed it probably shouldn't be um, this is this is where the hand fits in there's a tiny bit of a gap but it's really not that noticeable you see Punisher in the background there. I'm gonna explain why in a second I have him out. We'll go around to the back of her head. Really nice. I'm really impressed with the portrait on this statue. Well, let's might as well, we're back here now. Let's look at her back. Nice muscle definition, not too beefy, but like you can tell she works out and trains. I really like these little details in the sculpt, how uh, she's not fat, she's just she's, she's thick in all the right ways. You can see how the, the, the skin folds over where the bathing suit is kind of pulling in. I like little details like that. It makes it look realistic. And again, even though it's not based on a, on a real human, it gives it a bit of a, a more of a realistic uh, uh, vibe. Okay, this is, let's, let's focus on this. This is Chun Li's ass. This is what everybody wants to see. And they didn't, uh, they did it justice, that's for sure. I almost displayed the statue. <laughs> I almost displayed the statue in my collection this way, just because they really did a good job sculpting, sculpting her ass, and this is kind of a good look, but I decided not to. But anyways, um, okay, so let's, you can see the different tones in her skin. Again, really well done, subtle, but enough. Let's get some better light here. You can see how there's the, 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 the different shades of pink. I think, I think they really did a good job with, with the paint here. 
again, her stomach, not overly defined, but she, you can tell that she works out. She's, she's, she's got good definition, um, true to the character. I love it. Big boobs, bigger than I remember Chun Li having, but hey, I'm not going to complain. Now, this is where I have a little bit of an issue. You can see there's some some paint, some over paint there, and some some just a little bit of sloppy paint in certain areas. It's there, it's uh, here, and then if you if you look really closely, I'm not sure if this is going to show up on camera, but right in this area here. You can see it looks like they probably overpainted and then painted back with the pink. It's really not noticeable if you're looking at it from any distance beyond, you know, honestly, like beyond a few uh, inches, but it's there. But generally speaking, the paint is really well done. I'm, I'm really impressed. Getting into her foot, I like that. The individual little uh, sequins or whatever those are on her. Uh, flip-flop the flip-flop looks real like that looks like a little miniature flip-flop it's really well done paint on her toes is decent let's look at the other foot here again really well done I like how the flip-flops kind of hanging off the foot like it would I, I like I really think that that looks realistic uh, it didn't show but these little bracelets on her uh, obviously come off and on as you put the uh, hands on. So yeah, the, the, the paint is great. The sculpt is great as well. Um, now getting down into the base. This is fun. This turtle shell has a much more glossy look than the rest of the statue. Her skin and, and really her bathing suit and everything is very matte, uh, other than her lipstick and her eyes and her teeth. Those are kind of more shiny and I think that's very cool. It's a really cool look. And then you get into the glossiness of this turtle shell. The splash effect is done well with translucent resin, it looks like. And then, uh, and then we get into this funny little turtle that uh, is, is being stomped on by, by Chan Li. It's, it's actually kind of, it's kind of cruel if you think about it. This poor thing is getting jumped on by her. Anyways, it's funny though, and it's well done, and it really does look like there's, it, it's like a real turtle there. Uh, underwater. I think as as far as bases go for these uh, these statues, this is probably one of my favorites. Um, my problem with the statue itself, like when I'm looking at it right now, the individual elements are awesome. But I just have a hard time putting it in my collection and posing it in a way that, that works. You know, like that that looks good from that angle. And I think that's, that's what I had in, in, when I had her uh, displayed, that's the angle. But for whatever reason, just maybe it was just the lighting that I had on her, she didn't really stand out as much as some of the others. The funny thing is, like, of all of these characters, I thought I would like her the best, then Laura, um, you know, and then and then uh, I think the next one is, what else do I have? Karen? Karin? However you say her name. And she ended up being my favorite, even though I don't care about that character at all. There's just something about her pose and the way she's standing and the way she displays that I like better like like I, like I said I mean I think this is very cool but it's just in her display something about something about how it all comes together I'm, I just don't appreciate it as much as 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 uh, the others in the line and it's really not a complaint if you if you look at the individual parts of her it's really nicely done, and I think the pose is cool too. I've seen, you know, they use this this pose and most of the sculpt in the uh, the, the Morgan uh, alternate alternate outfit for her, and that looked cool as well. But I think that worked a little bit better just because maybe it's because she had wings. Something bulked it up. I just find that no matter how you pose her, I think it's just me. I think it's just me, but something just looks a little bit. It doesn't look as grounded. Maybe it's just because she's on, on her one toe there. But I just, from a purely subjective level, um, don't 
like her in my collection, don't like her in my display as much as I do the others in the line so far. Even though I love Chun-Li and I, I do even appreciate the pose. Okay, so here's what I wanted to talk about. PCS says that these are one-fourth scale, okay? So let's look at a standard of one-fourth scale, this uh, uh, premium format Daredevil. Sorry for the, or not Daredevil, uh, Punisher. Sorry for the camera, I'm just moving it over here. I'm trying to do this myself, so bear with me. Okay, here they are side by side. Does she look one-fourth to you? Like, I get it, she's smaller. But she's not that small. And, like, she's on her tippy-toe. And, like, his bottom foot is just maybe a tiny bit higher than hers. Uh, but not much. But just look at the difference in size. Like, look at his head compared to the size of her head. This is not one-fifth. I mean, this is not one-fourth. I don't know why they label it like that. These, in my opinion are closer to one-fifth. I, I compared her to the uh, the fairy tale fantasy statues that I have that are labeled as one-fifth, and her her proportions and her head size are much closer uh, uh, to that than, than uh, a one-fourth scale, um, you know, typical premium format. So it doesn't matter, it's fine, it's cool, they, they take up less space, but the fact is is that I really don't think that this is or should be considered a one-fourth scale a statue. But anyways, there she is. Not a long review, not a ton to uh, talk about other than the fact that I just think she's really well painted. I'm, I'm extremely impressed with the paint. Look at the paint even on the, uh, the bathing suit. Uh, except for a couple small little sloppy uh, uh, areas that are really not noticeable. I think she's very well done. Uh, like I said, I just, from, from a purely subjective standpoint, she is not my favorite in the, uh, in the Seasons Pass lineup from PCS. Um, but I'm really looking forward to some that are coming, like Minat and Armika. So uh, I'll definitely get reviews up for them as I get them in. Okay, so uh, thanks guys. Thanks again for watching. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps. And uh, until next time, later.